We are just tickled to death that you're going to hang out with us for the next hour. At least we hope you're going to hang out with us for the next hour. Welcome in, everybody. I'm Hope Hines. This is Titans Tuesday right here on Channel 50. We call it the plus. We've got uh, several outstanding guests lined up for you. We have Dr. Jeffrey L. Herring. He's a medical doctor here in uh, town, and uh, he deals in orthopedic surgery, specializing in foot and ankle uh, problems. And so we'll be talking to the good doctor here to find out uh, what's going on in his world, and maybe we'll say something up here that can help you and your world with a problem that you may have be having and the good doctors in the house doctor how are you sir I'm good good Thank to see you. you good to have you here good to be here. Uh, you know uh, we've had uh, a wonderful response from uh, people who watch each week when we have all of you doctors who come up and talk about all the ailments that all of us average people have to go through <laughs> doctors never suffer with any of this stuff you you guys uh, fix do you and that's not true I'm a lot more sympathetic now than I was a few years back uh, <laughs> since I've had my, age will do that to you won't it, it is I've had my own bout of heel pain. I've had my knee, uh, had a menis meniscus removed from my knee. So yeah. I'm a, I think I'm a little more sympathetic doctor, at least than I once was. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I, I absolutely am. Now, I, I said you were an orthopedic surgeon and you specialize in ankle and foot That's correct. injuries or yes, problems. Uh, right. Problems and injuries, right? That's right. What, now, now uh, which is more prevalent, the foot or the ankle with problems? Or was it kind of hard to separate them? It's kind of hard to separate. I, certainly the ankles seems to be more involved in my practice with sports related injuries if we're talking about sports. Whereas the foot is often involved and I do lots of foot surgery as a result of degenerative changes, uh -huh. uh, arthritis and whatnot. And weight. Weight can be a factor, that's true. Uh, I know it can. Uh, certainly, it's not, probably not as big an issue as it is with the knee or the hip. Okay. Uh, but because the foot, the shoe, and the inserts and whatnot can be can accommodate a lot for the weight, at least mm -hmm. offset some of the, the detriment of weight, but uh, it is a factor nevertheless. Uh, at one point, you were a team physician for the uh, Titans, and you've been involved in various uh, uh, Hillsborough High School at one point, so you, you've had a lot to do with athletic teams here in our city. Yeah, I've enjoyed my experience a lot along the way, it's been fun. All right, you brought uh, something that just scared me to death when you walked up tonight. <laughs> I know it's Halloween season, but I didn't think it was that close, and all of a sudden you have, what are you, what are you holding there? Well, I have to have a prop to talk about foot and ankle. Most <laughs> orthopedists do have to have something in their hands, you know, to talk, uh, legibly, but uh, this is my foot and ankle, my skeletal foot and ankle, mm -hmm. and uh, if, if you had some questions about foot and ankle injury, this is the best way I can explain it. Um, and, and I'm looking at that, and we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five bones. I'm, I'm just being very elementary here, yeah. but five bones and here are these would be considered knuckles uh, perhaps like like you would have on your finger if you can hold it up there we oh there it is look there you See, go. I'm pointing to these little round things what do you call those those are cuneiform bones there are three cuneiform bones in the middle row of the foot and this is actually part of the bony arch of the foot the true knuckles of the foot are down here these are the metatarsal phalangeal joints ah. that would be more analogous to your knuckles so okay, okay. you have long metatarsals and short toe bones in general tell me about turf toe uh, we hear uh, Eddie George yeah. had that, of course, that was a, everybody knows about that, but all across the league, not only in the NFL, but college, high school, you can have what's called turf toe. Now, I want to know what that is. Yeah, turf toe is a misnomer in sports medicine parlance really? uh, in a lot of ways. At least it gets misused uh, from the true meaning of turf toe. And our former running back, uh, what a great man, great yep. player he was, yep. suffered with it badly, and he had a true turf toe. Uh, it's a ligamentous injury to the toe usually caused from football of course it can happen in other sports but uh, with the foot to tap classic football mechanism is a running back or uh, a lineman who gets piled on from behind with the toe the foot in this position Ooh, so it's, well, a hyper dorsi right, it's a hyper dorsiflexion injury or extension injury to the toe and what happens with a real turf toe sprain and this is the way sh the term should be used is a ligamentous injury a tendinous injury to the bottom of the toe yeah, okay. I'm just showing you so that you can go. see that we, we see that. Yeah. To the okay. plantar surface. All right. Uh, so it can How do you get, treat that? It's, it's a debilitating injury in high-level athletes and certainly the skill positions. Uh, hopefully, if the ligaments aren't torn completely, it can be treated with rest and immobilization. If you catch it early and treat it with a minor, more minor injury. So the more significant injuries, it's, it can be an operative problem. Now, the, the, the problem I see with turf toe, at least used in sports medicine uh, terms, is it, it gets applied to everything that has anything to do with the big toe. And, just, and, a, just an umbrella name. That's right. Yeah. And, and everything that happens to the big toe is not turf toe. 
Uh, in fact, the majority of what we call turf toe in sports medicine is actually an arthritic problem, and it comes from repetitive wear and tear and injury, and we've, we've had a quarterback in our town suffer from that in the mm -hmm. past. And it got called turf toe, but technically uh, it's more of an arthritic change, and typical of bone spurs, mm -hmm. limited motion, and it's almost the, the, uh, with the acute injury, it's instability with uh, the arthritic turf toe, it's a, a, a stiffness problem. Once you have it, do you ever completely get rid of it? Not completely. I didn't think so. You, you really can don't. you can get better, of course, with rest, as you say. But right. if an athlete, you know, the coach needs you in as soon as he can get you back. Yeah, and that's the problem with foot and ankle injuries. When you tear your ACL, yeah. you tell the coach players out, and right. nobody argues. He's out for six months or a year. When you sprain your ankle or you sprain your toe, everybody says, well, you know, he must not be too tough if he can't play next week. And sometimes the foot and ankle injuries are every bit as debilitating as the knee and the hip and the spine injuries. Now this question, do men or women suffer from feet problem the most? Who? Men or women or both? It's, it's certainly women in my practice. And, uh, Is that because of those high heels? Well, it, it has a, a, a big factor. Okay. Uh, that's All right. right. Yeah. Uh, well, because we know they're, they're trying to put a little object and, and even a, a smaller <laughs> object, it seems, oftentimes. <laughs> That's true. Uh, there are genetics involved in men and women's foot problems. Uh, there are injury, often old injuries, that result in, in traumatic arthritis and whatnot. But certainly the difference between men and women that I see in my practice has a lot to do with footwear. There's no okay. doubt about it. All right. Very good. Dr. Uh, Jeffrey Herring is being brought to us by Baptist Sports Medicine, and we're here talking tonight about uh, ankle and foot injuries, in which you specialize in. Now, what what, what made you go into this particular uh, phase of uh, specialty? Uh, I mean, you're already an orthopedic yeah. surgeon, then you yes, decide, sir. okay, I just really like ankles and, and feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's a good question. I get asked that a lot. Uh, why would you want to do feet? Um, I enjoyed sports medicine in my training. I, I, I was at Erlanger Hospital in Chattanooga, and uh, some of my mentors there were sports medicine specialists, and some were hand surgeons. And I liked the the delicate the surgery of the hand. Yeah. I liked the anatomy, uh, the anatomic practicality of hand surgery. I, I always enjoyed. But some of my my mentors there said, "You what y'all do is foot. It's a combination of some hand surgery. It's mm -hmm. a lot of sports medicine, and there aren't that many of you out there." And certainly, when I went in and did my fellowship at Duke. University 15 years ago, there weren't very many foot and ankle people around, uh, orthopedic well, trained. Yeah. So it was an opportunity, too, to come back and join a good practice good. in Nashville. Tony Romo for the Dallas Cowboys broke his, I think it's called, broke, broke his pinky finger. He's yes. out for four weeks. Uh, why, why couldn't he play with that? Why, why, why couldn't you, as I told you earlier, why couldn't you tape the pinky finger next to this finger and still throw a football? Well, you can, but he won't be Tony Romo playing with four fingers. Yeah, I guess that's uh, You know, particularly at the professional level, if they can't play at the level of their expectation, they're not going to go at 75% or 60%. Uh, if he doesn't need surgery, and I think this injury does not require surgery, right. we've been told, he, he could he could possibly grasp a ball, but it won't have the same velocity or accuracy. But might as well Tony just Romo. rest and, and get it healed. Why take a chance and uh, wind up having an operative procedure that that would end your season. Right. Doctor, it's been a pleasure talking with you and speaking with you about uh, ankle and foot injuries. Dr. Jeffrey Herring, uh, orthopedic uh, surgeon who specializes in that practice of the feet and uh, brought to us by Baptist Sports Medicine. Thanks for being here. Thank you. All right. Thanks for me. We're going to take this time out when we come back. Carrie Cecil, our featured guest of the night, will be here right after this. Titans Tuesday, brought to you by Baptist Sports Medicine. It's time to put an end to living on the sideline. With joint replacement, the experts at St. Thomas Health Services can get armchair athletes into the game. Life isn't a spectator sport, so jump back in. Visit STHS.com.